Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dungeon Town. I believe this is episode 12. In this episode, we're going to be making a little system, which is going to be like a major system in our game actually, um, for um, citizens. So, it's going to be um, citizens death. So, every four days, a citizen will die. So, we actually have a way to keep track of how many days have passed, if I remember correctly. So actual days past is full. It's right here. So that's basically what we're gonna be using. But before we actually use it, let's make sure it's working. So what I'm gonna do is come down to my day and night system and to find a way to ask my. I mean, ask um. Actually, no. Find a way to change um the day. So it should be one of these. These ones are getting the information. Game time, save, load. Current, 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 current. Change. Hmm. Game set time. Okay, there we go. Game set time. Handle will be add. Actually, handle will be the. Will be what we're changing. So increase a certain time per. Add seconds, add minute, add okay, add day, and then we change how many days that we're gonna add. Did I copy it or did I just highlight it? I think I just highlighted it. Okay, I'm gonna copy it. Okay, I'm gonna come back to town, new event, pick whatever, insert. Go to here. It was add day, right? And I'm pretty sure these um, quotation marks should not be there. And then I'm just going to add one day. And let's test this out. Should work. And let's go ahead and see why my internet stopped working. All right. Oh, the last thing that I actually did that I forgot to tell you guys is added a um a name processing thingy, but you know it's not a, it's not something that's hard to do. Okay. There is a reason why. So save this okay so apparently something went wrong which I'm pretty sure I know what let me just calm down here real quick go back to my day and night just make sure okay the only other thing that I would basically say was wrong is quotation marks Did I spell it right? A D D D A Y A D D D A Y A D D D A Y A D D D A Y. How can I spell it right? So it must be the quotation mark. Seriously though. Okay, it's working. I started on a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Oh, I'm just a little bit. Troubleshoot. It's Sunday. Monday, Tuesday. So two days have passed. If I go to variables, and check up on my variables. Actual days pass should be two. Okay, days pass counter. Actual days passed. Okay, both of those are two. Ten, eleven, twelve. Turn it 
turn off Wi-Fi, turn back on Wi-Fi. Days pass counter says five. Actual days pass. Oh, okay. Days pass counter is basically which day it is, and um, actual days pass is twelve. Okay, it's working. So five being Friday, of course. So now that we got that figured out, and it took five minutes. Wow. Okay. Well, this system shouldn't be long at all. So. Insert again. This system is coming from the top. Of, I'm basically freestyling right now. Everything I'm doing is freestyling. I don't know how it's gonna work out. I just have a con I have the concept in my mind, and now I'm creating it from the concept I have in my mind. Actually, I don't have the concepts 100%. I'm just making it up as I go, but I know what it's supposed to do, and then from that, I start more than my con the concept as I go. Um. Let's just make this all caps because it's kind of important. Citizens. How many citizens do we have? Let's say we have a hundred citizens, citizens left in this town. So citizens equals a hundred. Citizens equals a hundred. Conditional brand if citizens citizens equals a hundred. And I'm actually kind of dumb. That's not what we're supposed to be doing. Um, if it's less than or equals to zero, there we go. If it's less than or equals to zero, then the game of game over, game over, game over. Game Again, it's a very simple system. It should, literally should not even take like five minutes to make. And then in the else part, what we basically have to do is again another conditional branch. Oh, actually, control variable. Day of sacri face. Day citizen dies would be okay. Let me pause this real quick because I'm 100% lost. Okay, and I thought long and hard, and now I'm just gonna do this a different way. So, what I'm gonna do is conditional branch variable. So, I'm just gonna make it every week. That was better i guess so what i'm gonna do is come up here so we're gonna make it every sunday so game time days game time months game time days actually so um it's sunday or should we make it every okay let's make it every friday because we know what fridays are we know fridays are five i don't want to have to go back to the script just to find out which day um sunday is so Friday, end of the week, or maybe we should make it on the Monday. No, Friday's good. So if it's Friday, now of course we can't make it like say if if it's a Friday, then the citizens die, cause then it's just gonna rent, it's gonna keep on killing citizens until they all die or until it's no longer Friday. So that come that's where we need another condition. And this one is basically going to say, okay, oh, this, these are switches. Okay, variable. Okay, so on a Friday, exactly at game time hours, um, game time hours zero, I believe. So zero, one, two, three, four, so 23, it goes to zero. Okay, game hour zero, which is 12 a.m. Okay. Insert control variable. Okay.
Okay, control variable. Come down here to citizen. Subtract by one. See, that's a whole lot simpler than what I was doing. And then what I'm gonna do is wait um, 120 frames. So basically wait in 120 frames will basically um because if we just make it like only kill one citizen is basically gonna kill it's gonna keep on killing the citizen until um the hours changes from um oh i actually have to put one more layer into this um conditional branch because then that hour like it, it takes a while to change an hour so it's just going to keep on killing until that hour changes so we have to also put minutes into considerations so minutes equals to zero again now just cut this out so this is exactly at 12 a.m and then it's going to wait 120 frames and then it's going to check this again and by the time um 120 frames pass it's no longer going to be um 12 a.m it's going to be 12.01 a.m so the system will say okay i'm going to stop killing citizens and then it will do the same thing again and that can do this comfortably because i don't have any way to change the game time like i do in like Dunhaven because you could sleep in there and when you sleep time passes so this that's not happening so i don't have to do something complicated to keep track of all of that so what i'm going to do now is basically test this out but the system you know should be done um if we start this game right now we will lose like okay we didn't lose because we actually haven't activated this So it's always going to keep running this. And also, let's. We're going to have to start a new game. And before games. I just start the plot. So we have to set this before game start is turned on. Control variable. Come down here to citizens. Change it to one hundred. One hundred. Okay. We can now save this. We can play now. So, if I continued, I would get instantly a game over. Okay, so new game. This one's actually gonna be kinda tricky to test. So right now it's 12 p.m. I'm gonna save this. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, two. Wednesday, okay. Hmm. All right, I'm doing something wrong, obviously, but Wednesday, Thursday, there we go. We stay on Thursday, and then we will have to wait. We will have to wait. But here's what I'm actually going to do to cheat this, because obviously I'm not going to wait here. Does this start counting at 0 or 12? I mean, 0 or 1. Alright, I'm going to end this episode here. When I figure out what, what I'm doing um, wrong, I will basically um put it in the next episode. Anyways, thank you guys again for watching. Peace.